Hello everybody um, from New Mexico. Um, today I kind of want to talk to you guys about Los Tres Herreros. They're um, the three warriors in English. And these are very, very, very important in this religion that we are talking about. And um, the three warriors are Ogun, Ochosi, and Ilegua, and Osun. These warriors, um, with Ol Ilegua, Ochosi, and Ogun, you you receive them in <clears throat> what are called calderos, but they're cauldrons, little cauldrons, or a plate with Ilegua. But with the Tres Herreros, I'm going to get into a little bit of what every Orisha is and what they do, and a little apatiki about the Orisha. So, um... I've talked to you on a couple times already about Ilegua, so you have a little idea about Ilegua. But, um, like I said, Ogun, Ochosi, and Ilegua. We're going to start off with Ochosi first, because um, personally, that is one of my favorite Orishas. And I make Ibo to him, you know, at least twice a month if I can. Sometimes three times a month. It's a very, very simple Ibo. And that's another thing we're going to get into after I give you guys a basic introduction to all the Orishas. A little bit of Palo Mayombe. And then I'm going to start getting into you with how to do simple workings. Not big heavy duty workings because you won't be able to do that without your Herreros. Without your Prenda. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get into the big heavy stuff. But for little simple stuff, problems with the law problems with the love life, problems with, you know, um, spiritual cleansings. I will show you how to get into this. I will show you how to get into these kind of little cleansings. Anyways, Ochosi, Ochosio de Mata, is um, one of my favorite Orishas. He is the Orisha of hunting and very... He is associated with hunters, the protector of hunters, and protection from the law. Not necessarily, oh, I'm a wanted criminal, I need protection, you know. Anytime there has been an injustice, anytime there's been an injustice done, he is the one to speak to Ochosi. So, Ochosi, there's a pateki about Ochosi that I want to tell you guys about. Ochosi was the, the most great hunter, the greatest hunter there ever was. And, um, he actually, there's this part that he has a story about him and Orula. Orula is the Orisha of wisdom. And Orula wanted to prepare a quail lunch for Olofi, God. But he could not catch this quail. And he wanted to make sure that it was a perfect, good quality quail. So he came to Ochosi, being the master of hunting, and said, Ochosi, I need your help to help me get these quails. So Ochosi said, okay, no problem. I'll get them quick, you know, fast, in a hurry, no problem. So Ochosi goes out, you know, and later on that day, he gets the quails. He puts them in a sack. He takes them to the home, puts them in a cage. He calls Or Orula and tells Orula. He goes to Orula's house and tells Orula, you know, the quails are ready. They're done. You know, um. Come on, let's go. I'll show you them. But while he was talking to Orula, Ochosi's mom seen the quails. And in her mind said, oh, my son went out hunting. He brought these home. He probably wants me to prepare them for him. So she was going along doing the good thing she thought and started preparing these quails for her son Ochosi. Meanwhile, Ochosi and Orula are on the way over here by now, by this time. So they get home. He looks in the cage. They're the gone. And Orula says, what kind of trickery is this? You're trying to mock me now? And Ochozi's like, no, wait, 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 hold on. They were here. Somebody stole them. I'm telling you, I wouldn't lie to you. And um, so anyways, they forget about it. Ochozi says, I'll get you another pair. Don't worry. So he goes out again. And he asks his mom too. He says, mom, have you seen them? And he sees this time that he's a little bit angry. So she like, denies and says, no, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. So he goes out, gets another pair. He prepares them himself this time. And then he tells Orula again, Orula, the quails for Olofi are done. So they go and prepare them in front of Olofi. They show them in front to Olofi. Olofi eats. He loves it. And, uh, you know, Ochosi tells, says, you know, I appreciate you guys inviting me here. And yada, yada. Or Orula says, I wasn't going to take all the cre credit for this. You caught these quails. So 
Ochozi says, one last thing, because Orula says, I want to give you something for preparing me this. He says, okay, I want the power to be, you know, for this person who stole these quails and made me look like a liar last time, I want that person to die. So what Orula, Ochozi does is he gets his bow and arrow and he pulls it back and he whispers the command to the arrow. He lets it go and the heart, the, the arrow pierces the heart of his mother. And he hears the cry, he realized what he does what he had done, and you know, he was very angry, whatever. From that day on he promised not to ever hunt again, but to still be the protector of hunters and to think more clearly before he just jumps into situations. So that's part of that's the little patiki of Ochosi, but there's many, 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 many more. And you know, it's the moral of the story that like I said, you look into, don't jump into a situation you don't know clearly what you're jumping into. That's Ochosi. So Ochosi is very, very good with hunting. He's he's part of the Thresheros, the Thresheros, the warriors. Next to Ochosi is Ogun. And Ogun is the Orisha of steel, of iron, of the the He's the saint for workaholics, for policemen, people who are always on the grind, 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 but also who have heavy tempers. And you know, you you can find out who your saint is, because everybody is born with an orisha who is taking care of them from birth. Mine is Chango and Oya, a very, very fierce, fierce combination, very, very strong brujos, Chango and Oya, witches, I'm saying. And um, anyways, Ogun... The children of, you can find out who your saint is by going to a local botanica, finding out who your guardians are. It's called the ritual of bringing down the saint, and that'll verify who your saint is. And then to find out who your mother is, you have to throw the seashells to find out who your mother is. Well, anyways, Ogun is, like I said, the patriot, the patriot saint of those who work. He's also very tempered. You know, he's very built. He's a warrior, very, very strong. And um, Ogun is visualized mostly with the sword, you know, and his favorite color is green and black. Um, actually, I have his cadena right here, his chain, because I keep it on me because he's a warrior. Green and black, Ogun. So, anyways, one of the one of the patekis of Ogun. Um, you know, he was really, he was a really, really, you know, hardworking man, and, you know, um, it's, it's, him and Chango have always had problems together, and this pot the key is going to tell you how him and Chango became, ended up becoming beef with each other, problems, well, him and Chango have always had a beef with each other because of their wives, their wives caused this problem. I'll go later into that part the key later on. I was, I'm not going into it now for certain reasons. Later on the down the line, you will be able to comprehend this story, but not now. It's too early. So, <clears throat> well, they had problems, and Ogun's very, very hot tempered, very, very angry, very, very angry at times. He's ready to go. He doesn't think. He's like, ah, you know, beast, ready. And him and Ch he meets Chango and he tells him, you know what, me and you are going to fight. We're going to settle this right now. We're going to see who's the best warrior right now. And Chango says, okay, but before we do that, let's have a drink, brother. Let's have a drink. And uh, Chango Ogun says, okay, one drink then to, uh, in honor of our great fight. And Ogun, and they take a drink. And Chango says, oh, no, drink more. Drink more. You're a big man. You're a warrior. You deserve more. So Ogun just starts indulging because he loves drinking. And he just starts drinking and drinking and drinking. Next thing you know, he gets drunk, passed out. Chango grabs him by the leg, swings around, throws him into the coconut tree, knocks out. Ogun wakes up with ants in his face, his ears, his nose. And he woke up with a throbbing headache. And from that day on, he never, ever, ever again, he swore from that day on a beef with Chango. That's a little patiki of, of them and his anger. But he's... He is the protector of cars. If you have driving around in vehicles, if you're doing traveling, um, I could, like, like I said later on, I'm going to be showing you little, little jobs that once you put your faith in, I'll show you how to do good protection spells for when you're traveling to prevent you from accidents with Ogun. 
And um, con la licencia de Olofi, with the permission of God first, everything has to go through God. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a lot of really neat stuff, you know. And it's really cool as long as you put your faith into it and believe in it. And I'm hoping that, you know, I can get a little bit of even a couple. I'm happy with just even four subscribers just checking out my stuff if you're really into it, though. You know, if you're into it, just so I could pass on some knowledge. That's all I'm trying to do. I see all these guys that are on here trying to get a hundred and thousand views and all this and that. I'm like, who cares? You know, you don't even know these people. What's it matter? I want sincerity. You know, if you love this, if you're passionate about it, well, what's up? Come check it out. It is what it is. And that's all I want. <clears throat> so anyways, that's a little bit about Ogun. And um, I found this old book that I had in the closet when I first started getting into this. And it's a really cool book. It's um, called Power of Orishas. And you can get it on maybe Amazon, I think, for 20 bucks, 15 bucks, or whatever, you know. And it gives you a little brief introduction to all the saints. And um, it's really cool. So those are the three warriors, Ogun, Ochosi, and Ilegua. Those three combined are unstoppable. They will, And with those three, you are allowed to do little bits of work, you know heavy jobs because the whole reason you can do them now if you want but the thing is your protection back because people can throw stuff back to you and you need protection and with those tres herreros you can be protected you know you can do trabajos you can do trabajos with the tres herreros so i strongly advise if you're starting to get into this religion talk to you know somebody about it and if you want questions on prices that way you know if you're not getting burned if you want to know the you know how they should be because like an ilegua it takes a lot of things to make an ilegua that i'm not going to go with now if you have questions you can ask me about it but um you know so it is what it is and like i said to you guys have a happy day assalamu alaikum alaikum sala those are the three herreros if you have any questions let me know